to my channel and if you're new welcome my name is Zoe but most people know me as ZA Reptiles here on YouTube and Instagram and today I have Kronk with me my Dumerals boa and we're going to talk about why I think the Dumerals boa is the best snake to get if you want to start getting into larger species of snakes. So Kronk was my first big snake. Now I have two. I have him and I have my boa constrictor. I can't really be more specific because I don't know her locality, but um, her name is Samoa. Many of you know her. She's gorgeous. I love her. Um, she's still very young and she's about the same size as Kronk, so she's going to be a big girl. But Kronk was my first big snake and really and truly I do believe that these are the best snakes to get if you want to start getting into big snakes without like jumping right in to like an anaconda or Burmese or, tick or anything like that. So right off the bat, it doesn't get much more obvious than just by looking at their scientific name. So their scientific name is Acrontophus dumerilli. I'm pretty sure I'm saying that right. I could be slightly mispronouncing it. But the word Acrontophus is made up of two Greek words. The first one being Acrontis, which means lazy or useless, and Ophis, which means snake. So Acrontophus basically means lazy snake, which these guys definitely are. They're known to be gentle giants. You can see he's very slow moving. He doesn't move very fast. And that's why I named him Kronk because if any of you Disney fans, you know Emperor's New Groove, Kronk is like the big gentle giant and that's what these guys are. So that's why his name is Kronk. Also Kronk reminds me of a Krontophus which helps me remember his scientific name for when I'm doing educational programs. And he's going in the straps in the back of my tank top. This is not going to work out very well. I don't know how to get him out. Okay, we're good. I got him. I let him slither out on my bed. Tansy saw him, my bearded dragon, and she squared up like she was going to beat him up. Not sure that's how that would have gone. Okay, so anyway, these guys are essentially gentle giants. They're very slow moving. They're very docile. If I want to take an animal out to just sit and watch TV with, Kronk is the one that I'm going to pull out because he will just sit with you. And it's not like a lame... Like, this is what you should get just to get used to having big snakes animal. These guys are, like, they're so sweet. They're gorgeous. I mean, look at him. Look at him. He is the prettiest snake ever. I am obsessed with Zoomerl's boas. Now, they're a good entry to really big snakes because they get big and they are have a very thick body. But they don't get huge. Usually about four to six feet is average for these guys. Um, if you have a female or just a bigger one, sometimes seven to eight feet. Really, you won't see them much bigger than that. It does happen, but very infrequently. Um, so Kronk here, he's probably maxing out at about five feet, I would say, which is fine by me because he's the perfect size. He's big, but I can handle him by myself no problem. He's also heavy enough that my arm is already tired, so I get the full effect of a big snake. Um, along with their size, they don't weigh too much, so you can handle them by yourself, but you do get that feeling of them being a big snake. So they'll weigh about 20 pounds max, usually under. Um, 20 pounds is about the max that they will weigh, typically on average. And I believe that. I believe he's probably close to 15 pounds right now. The last reason these guys are a really good intro is because for the most part they can just be fed rats. You don't have to go and feed like giant, you don't have to go and get them like rabbits or anything like you would need for bigger snakes. You no know, rabbits or guinea pigs or anything like that. For the most part these guys can be sustained on rats which is much cheaper but they are a bigger prey item so it does give you kind of that feeling um, as far as like a bigger prey item and the financial aspects of having larger prey items. The only downside to these guys really that I know of is that they can have a strong feeding response. So if you open their enclosure they might strike right away um, thinking that it's feeding time. Simple solution is to hook or tap train them. Um, Kronk is hook trained, so when I go in, I tap him with the snake hook that I have so that he knows it's not feeding time, and then I grab him. If I were to just reach in and grab him with my hand, you know, my hand is warm, couldn't mistake it for prey. So I want to tap him with a nice cold snake hook so that he knows that it's not warm, 
fuzzy food to eat and then I can pick them up no problem. Um, Kronk doesn't have any feeding response like at all so I feel very confident that I could just go in and pick him up but you know in the future if he were to develop a feeding response it's good that he's already hook trained and that he's used to that. So very simple solution to that minor issue. So that's today's video. Super sweet, super simple to the point. If you want to get into keeping bigger snakes, in my opinion, a doom rolls boa is the way to go for starting out just to get used to that feeling of having a larger snake before jumping into really big ones like a Burmese or a tick or a um, anaconda or anything like that. Of course, BCIs and BCCs are really good as well, but between my two, my doom rolls boa, I think, is the better out of the two for the first time having a large snake. Samoa, um, she loves to fling herself around. She's very big bodied and out of control. <laughs> so I'm fine handling her because I'm used to handling Kronk. Kronk kind of gave me that big bodied snake experience so I can better handle Samoa. Had it gone the other way around, I would have managed, but I do think I have an easier time with Samoa because I started out with Kronk. You know, another pro is that they are very unique. Not a lot of people have them. I think they are starting to gain some popularity um, as more people get them. But I do still feel like it's something that not a lot of people have. But everybody loves because they're just so, so gorgeous. Alright, well, thank you guys for watching today's video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you don't want to miss out on more videos. You want to see more of my animals. And we'll see you for the next video.